Can I ask a question? How do you all handle the major gossipers in your church? You got one. Ooh, one. several. One. How do you how do you how do you handle them? They just know everything. Mouth of the South. Always Mouth got some. Of the they South. refute Jimmy Hart, WWF. Amen. <laughs> Honky Tonk Man's Jesus manager. Christ. How do you all handle those? Some things you do need to deal with over the pulpit in a general fashion. Okay. You know, and and you just address it as nicely I as them. you can. Yeah, but I, I deal with it. And then you need to talk to them. And you'll be surprised how many people think they're not gossipers. So true. Now that's that's the that, challenge. Let me say this. Jacobs, that's good. A lot of gossipers hide under a cloak of intercession. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Or prophetic. Or prophetic. Mm. Girl, or I'm a greeter. I'm or a greeter. <laughs> I'm calling or you. Or a preacher or a choir member. Yeah. <laughs> They're oh everywhere. God, God, everywhere. Just, <laughs> Brandon, I'm calling you because I know you know how to pray. Yes. Now, so I don't know true. if you know. I'm just telling you because I know you, 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 you're spiritual. You're so prophetic. We need to pray for Nate. What's wrong with Nate? Mm-hmm. Oh, you didn't know? Well, I'm just going to, I'm just sharing this with you because I was I know talking about you know zippers on the, on the podcast. Zippers, zippers and things that they had edited out of the last episode. We can't bring it up. <laughs> so we can't edit it I'm out. concerned about, about him. And so I'm just I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I, I hope your break. glasses fog up <laughs> eternally. <laughs> you Wait, can't see anything. I got a question though. What is it in the hearer that yeah. says, "Tell me more"? Oh, easy. Oh, the that's need, in everybody. The need for information. No, information, I don't think that's in everybody. No, you want to know how I know? Because some somebody sure tried enough. to send me a meme, I'm and I refuse to respond. I'm to gonna it. say it's in everybody, but it's it's in a lot of people. Okay, because yeah. people like information on other people. Oh. Yes. And, and I think we also have to remember a lot of people, and this is not to be insulting, but a lot of people are secretly miserable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. And what do we know about misery from, from the Love's proverb? Company. Misery loves company. Yeah. So with all the stuff I got going on in my life, it's a, it's, it's a bit of respite and retreat to know. It's that, relief. Well, Brandon got so and so going on. Could you yeah. imagine that it is relief to hear the downfall of someone else? That's, that's wickedness, that's though. Hey, that's man. Evil. That's that, wickedness. That's evil. That's wickedness. And it's rooted in a flawed, I think, a flawed view of process. Because I'm rejoicing that you went down because this, I'm up now. And a lot of it you, is. You're not built for that seat. Hello. And a lot of people are rejoicing because social media has put us in a place to be so deceptive in success. So good. Ooh. What expl- unpack that? So you know, we 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 promote that we have bigger houses than we have, bigger cars than we have, more money than we have, mm-hmm. but better relationships than everybody. Yeah. So people are so like that they don't want to believe the narrative. So when something bad happens, it's almost a celebration of I knew it wasn't what they said it was. Mm-hmm. I knew you bring know. you down. And I mean, we don't. I don't want to call names, but we've seen so many great men and women of God that we celebrated in their ascent. But once they got to a certain point, yeah, it's like, yes, Ooh, now we can knock them over. Yeah. Hey, I heard, I heard younger, I heard Bishop Younger say something um, recently. He said, I love walking through the airport. But you remember Hold this? Hold on a second. Said, Let's ask him real quick. Yeah, ask him. You remember Bishop, that? Bishop, tell us that story. Ask him. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what happened. happened. That's I remember. Ah, I remember. Five, five, yes, sir. Wow. Bye, bye. How are we going, Bishop? But he was talking, as you just heard him say, he was talking about walking through the airport and loving the feeling of people running up. Oh, my goodness, Bishop, so good to see you. And how good that feels on one side. But he also said how it's so scary, though, yeah. to know that there are others that saw me and didn't speak because they're hoping that I'm, I make a mistake. Man. They're hoping to see me I'm fall. hoping. They want to see a flaw. Can I, I, ask, I wanna, you know. can I ask a question? You made me think of something. Yeah. We're talking about dumb reasons or valid reasons why people leave churches. Oh, you about to go somewhere. I sure what is. If, I see the guys. What if the pastor has a fall? Is that a justifiable reason for leaving the church? Will he repent? If he repents, oh, then I sits the down, steps back from ministry, gets him or herself together, because it's not always him. That's, right. That's true. Um... Is that a dumb reason for leaving church? I'm going to say this. God has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Let's start there. I'm going to throw this out there, though. I think just in our human, I'm not saying this is spiritual. I'm being very carnal. I'm not saying this is a spiritual reason. But I think in our humanity, the question becomes, what was the fall? Yeah. Because I'm going to be honest. I think that if I can't receive from you anymore, it would be best for me and for you. Yeah. For me. Not I, ugly. To go. Not, not, not to make a scene. Not to do a post. But if the moment I can't receive from you anymore, and let's just be honest, there are some things you can do that would make it hard for me to receive. I can, I can forgive you. 
I can, but I can't, I can't see, I can't Ooh, see myself bringing wait. my family here. Now, again, I'm not trying to, I can't trust. I, 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 don't, want, I don't want to make light. I don't want to make you. light of anything. This is, this is a very yeah. serious yeah. thing. Yeah, so please don't hear we laugh and play, but I'm very serious. Absolutely. There have been pastors that had a phenomenal word, phenomenal, whatever, but they fell maybe in some cases. And there was a, a question of, was this even legal? Right. Mm. You know, we understand sin, humanity, but that's against God's law and natural law. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. You fell. They were underage. Jesus. Yes. And again, again, I'm not trying to please hear my heart. I'm not trying to make light. Amen. That might make it a little hard for me to. I've, I've, I've a fan. I've, I've I, I don't know if I can trust you. you. You understand? And if I can't trust, I think sometimes we've used that whole Noah don't uncover. Yeah. I think sometimes that has been bastardized yeah. to mm -hmm. justify perversion. Yeah, and so I think that I think the question is, can I still receive from you? Because right. I'm punished, I'm 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 messing up the atmosphere of the church if I'm here and untrusting. Un, I, maybe but, it would be best. But the person that can't receive any longer really can't be demonized. If you, I agree. If right. you, just, if you can't receive, if you can't receive, I agree. You need to move on. Yes, sir. I you agree. Need to move on. I agree. Yeah. I agree. And like, I have to move on. I hate it.